Definitely increasing. Um, probably beginning of December, it wasn't quite so bad, but it's definitely increased over the holidays. Dr. Lisa Kirkland says it's by no means an epidemic, but chances are if you have children or are around children, the norovirus could be on the way or has already been to your home. The whole virus itself encompasses diarrhea, vomiting, stomach cramps, you know, dehydration, um, muscle aches, headaches. You just kind of feel like a truck ran over you. Neurovirus affects people of all ages and often increases in the winter as people are closer together. It's usually spread by contact with an infected person's stool or vomit or by eating or drinking contaminated food or water. If you're not hand washing, if you're not um, disinfecting um, bathrooms, kitchens, uh, it can spread throughout households very easily and obviously that would carry over to the school systems. When it comes to washing hands, you can't be too safe. Doctors remind you to wash after using the toilet, changing diapers, and after touching stool or vomit soiled materials. Also, wash before handling food or drink and before eating. Doctors also say the most important thing is to keep hydrated to avoid a trip to the ER. So if you can't keep yourself hydrated, then you're going to need to have at least IV fluids or medications to keep you from vomiting. And for more information on symptoms and how to treat neurovirus, we've got some helpful links on our website, WBALTV.com, and on our mobile app. At Sinai Hospital in Baltimore, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.